How's it going? OZ Boy 81. Been uh, <clears throat> working on my old school Axial Yeti. Had for um, a long time. Uh, it's just been sitting on the shelf, so I was bored. Thought I'd get this thing up and running again. Um, I just ordered uh, some uh, actual shafts for the rear. Um, but <clears throat> thought I'd just give you guys a little rundown of my pretty used Axial Yeti. Um, as you can see, the body. Seen better days. Just kind of gave it a quick paint job. Put some stickers on it. Still going to put some some more on there. Do up this uh, back window and stuff. It's got a big old crack right there. Right there. I uh, just painted some inner fenders in the front. I just added, or just put these um, six pack uh, dirt track tires that I've had in it. Because uh, it did have the uh, King Cobra Pro Line tires. <clears throat> these um, have quite a bit of sand in them, so they're pretty, pretty wobbly. They're pretty much shot. So, um, wasn't using these. So, thought I'd try them on here. Looks, looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, the front had quite a bit of cracks and stuff. Uh, not the best duct tape job. Doesn't look too too good. But um, was kind of looking for these Yeti bodies on uh, eBay. Um, there's some out there. They're pretty pretty expensive. Uh, just running the Proline mounts in the front, and then um, just uh, body clips in the back. So this body does swivel up. Running the SSD um, rear axle in the back with the hot racing uh, sway bar. Upper links are just the um, plastic ones. The lower ones, I don't remember what those ones are. I think they're just some um, eBay ones. Um, MIP uh, drive shaft. Um, that's actually brand new. Because when I got this a long time ago, the guy threw in a whole bag of uh, parts. There's some new stuff in there and uh, and whatnot. So, um, But let me get the shell off and we'll take a look inside. So I've been slowly trying to uh, clean this up. Uh, it's fairly dirty from the last time I, I drove it. It's probably about over a year ago. Haven't really showed it on the channel uh, until now. Um, but the Proline shocks, don't remember exact millimeter on those, um, but they're the Proline big bore shocks. Uh, the front ones, I'm not sure what these ones are. Um, they feel, feel fairly well, um, the back as well too. Um, I'll probably clean up the, the shocks and uh, check the the oil in the, in the front ones. This is uh, Horizon Hobby brushless um, ESC. I didn't, I couldn't find the KV on this, but if you guys know, uh, let me know in the comments. It looks like a 540 can. This is the electronics that it came with. Just a quick run. Um, two to three S um, brushless ESC. Um, it works. It just uh, I don't know if there's a program card or or what. I'm sure you can program it from this little red button right there. But um, the drag brake was set to like a hundred percent, so uh, it stopped pretty pretty quick and. Didn't really care for that since this is kind of like a fast kind of rock racer basher uh, type of uh, uh, truck. So um, I had an extra um, just the uh, brushless ESC that I got on eBay. It's a it's a 60 amp uh, two to three S. Uh, and this one has a program card, so I can uh, adjust uh, some settings in there. 
just a 25 kg servo nothing special and, um, hot racing uh, servo horn it's not uh, definitely not the prettiest uh, my first run with it I ended up rolling it because of the brake um, locked up and ended up breaking the uh, axle shafts in on one side so just got those replaced uh, last night and uh, greased everything up so it's all uh, pretty much up and ready here's the bottom like I said I've been uh, cleaning it here and there um, did take apart the transmission, re-greased it, check all the bearings, they look really good. Uh, the front shaft is um, uh, good as well. Uh, same with the uh, front diff. Uh, it does have open uh, gears in here, so um, I do have a rear locker for the, for the rear. Um, that's in that big old part bag but uh, I think I'll just leave it unlocked um, for now it's kind of like a double bumper setup in the front aluminum shock towers I have a few sets of those yeah there's just a bunch of random parts uh, for this um, that the guy gave me but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys um, maybe I'll try to get it out soon and do some video on it and see how it does uh, it's been a while like I said probably about a year since I've uh, taken this out um, but yeah um, oh and it's got uh, it's got aluminum uh, knuckles C hubs um, aluminum turnbuckles uh, just a plastic ends Yeah, old school axial yeti uh, let me know in the comments if you if you have one or if you still have one and you don't drive it anymore um, like I said I'm still trying to find a uh, a body for it um, that would be nice to find because uh, I don't think Axial makes uh, bodies for these anymore. They make some parts for them still. Uh, you can find on eBay, I think. Um, Axial still sells some parts, so. But, uh, yeah, there she is. Uh, old school Axial Yeti. Uh, just running the Dumbo RC transmitter on it for now. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, looking forward to getting this out and ripping it around. We'll see what I break next on it, but uh, hopefully I'll get it on video. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, let me know if you guys had one or still have one and still uh, take it out. Later.